Um, Piers Morgan, meantime, is this morning defending his name weeks after sensationally cutting ties with Breakfast TV. Good morning, America. Good morning, Britain, rather, over his controversial feud with Meghan Markle. I didn't believe Meghan Markle. Uh, a huge furore erupted through the day. Uh, I was an outrage. Uh, I wasn't allowed to have an opinion that I didn't believe what she was saying, even though it was clear to me in real time as I was watching the interview that there were a number of things which just couldn't be true. Wow. Entertainment reporter Sam Rubin has been following this story closely and joins us from Los Angeles with more. Good morning, Sam. What did you make of it? Well, I made of it, it was the opportunity for Piers to clear the air or his air as it, and it's kind of a he, sh he said, she said, the Piers says there are, the facts are on his side. He says that Oprah Winfrey gave Meghan Markle a wide opportunity to explain, quote unquote, her truth. Piers says there is a significant distinction between her, Meghan Markle's truth, and the actual truth. He says there are particular things from the Meghan Markle Oprah interview that are simply incorrect. The idea that they got married quietly a day before couldn't have happened in Pierce's view. The fact that she uh, indicated she was suicidal on, on two attempts, he finds that deeply, deeply suspect, though he can't refute it. And then perhaps most significantly, this idea that young Archie has been denied a title because of uh, his birth or the hue of his skin. Pierce says anybody who knows royal protocol, and I must confess, I do not. Pierce says anyone who knows royal protocol knows that uh, baby Archie would not be given a title until Prince Charles assumes the throne. So he's not been denied a title, or rather it's a title in waiting. In any event, uh, Tucker Carlson, the American commentator, gave Piers a very wide berth. The interview is almost an hour and a half long. It debuts on a streaming service today. Portions of it will be shown on uh, Tucker Carlson's highly viewed television show here in the States tonight. So to be honest, I don't know how many people in the United States will watch this interview in its entirety. Likely the uh, refutation of what Meghan Markle said will be the highlights of the broadcast show that will get more viewers than this lengthy, lengthy the streaming interview. Okay, so Pierce says Americans don't understand the anger Brits felt against Meghan and Harry. Do you agree with that sentimentality? I mean, I, I tell you what, one, one thing that Pierce says, which I think is true, is that sitting with Oprah bestows sort of an instant credibility that, that Oprah has deigned to speak with you and you would never lie to Oprah. And so he really, at great length, uh, and with, with angry verbiage, I think, Carl, faults Oprah, says she failed as a journalist in this role and didn't really confront Meghan Markle on, on sort of the hard facts surrounding many of these charges. He also says, as a loyal Brit, you know, he just felt this visceral offense because she said things that he felt were not true and uh, his disbelief of Meghan cost him his job. And then he went on to say, of course, uh, Sharon Osbourne's defense of him and his truth cost her her job. Yeah, I think in the past, uh, over the last, I guess, year, the intensity of his, I guess, dislike, or perhaps you could use a stronger word, for Meghan has made uh, people question um, whether he has some kind of problem with her. Does he come across in that interview as being more reasonable or does he look rejected as, uh, as people have been accusing him of? Uh, Leila, that's a very good question. He has a greater opportunity to explain at far greater length. And while he is passionate, as he always is, he's not as uh, viscerally angry. So he's given, uh, and, and Tucker Carlson essentially assuming the Oprah role doesn't refute a, a single thing that he says. So he has this very, very wide berth, this channel, to sort of get out his entire point of view. But he does point out, and I think this might be the subtext of your question, is his questioning of Meghan Markle racist? Is his dislike of Meghan Markle race-based? He well, insists personal. it is not, and that he has, you know, never been that way. And he also says, as a former tabloid editor, that the tabloid press in England has not mistreated her or treated her in a racist way. He says social media is another matter, he describes social media as a cesspool of racism, among, amongst other things. But he not only defends his own behavior, he defends the tabloid media, and I think there could be an argument made there that they have not treated her well, and some of that mistreatment is racially based. Well, yes, Sam, exactly. Stand by, Sam, for a second. This is all hot off the press. and Here's another uh, bit of what Pierce had to say. I was told 
that you've got to believe Meghan Markle. And if you don't believe what she's saying, you're a racist. I just find that impossible to believe, that you would have two people in the palace who would be that callous to a woman telling them that, uh, that she was suicidal. OK, so Sam, uh, he's hinted um, at his next project. He clearly doesn't uh, regret leaving Bricky TV. What is his next project? Well, I tell you what, apparently uh, it is a good thing to be uh, in the Pierce Morgan business. There are two uh, conservative TV network, Fox Channel-esque shows, launching in Britain. Both are said to be very much interested in his services. Um, I think that is an opportunity. He's re-released a book he has out already about cancel culture. Of course, he remains a columnist for the Daily Mail. You know, often people don't leave jobs or walk away from jobs if they have no place to go. I think he has places to go. Yeah, exactly. Piers Morgan, making all that noise, it's going to work for him in the end. Yeah, it's it? going to work for him. Good on you, Sam. Thank you so much for that. Appreciate it. Thank you. Straight ahead on today, the new roadside technology catching drivers red-handed.